Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, this is an ar another round of Windows 11 questions and answers from viewers. Um, of course, the one that I get all the time, they still get, and that I guess will be one of the main questions uh, are from unsupported um, hardware a lot of you asking me if Microsoft has any intention of changing the minimum requirements. On that side, I think um, that will not happen. I think Microsoft has decided that that's the minimum requirement, and they won't budge from that. Uh, the other question that goes in relation to that, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, there's these tricks to use. You don't need any tricks to um, have unsupported hardware. Microsoft makes it easy for you to go in Windows 11 if you have unsupported hardware. Don't start looking out for tricks or tips on how to avoid the detection of TPM and so on. You can just simply do it as long as you use the media. So when you go to their website, you can use the media creation tool. You can download an image, and you can actually uh, install to an unsupported hardware machine with that. No need to do any tricks of any kind to have it working so if you want it running that's you know you, it does work a lot of you of course are asking if the updates are going well on the unsupported hardware absolutely um, if you have an unsupported machine n all the updates have uh, been there for everybody so there's no sign that you're not getting any updates you are up to date like everybody else how long will this uh, work? It's anybody's guess. Um, but with the mornings that Microsoft gave, it's, you know, you might, it might stop at any time. You never know when to decide. Um, the other question is about next year's update. Uh, some of you have been asking if that could be a time where Microsoft decides to stop unsupported hardware. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends what's going to happen with all of that. Um, but, um, you know, for now, we have no idea. Microsoft is just not saying anything about that. So as long as it works and you have unsupported hardware, it, you know, just use it and, and be happy. Uh, other questions about stability. A lot of people are asking questions about how stable it is. Should I install it? Uh, once again, I want to remind everybody, when the question that you have is, should I install it, you already uh, are pretty much answering your own question. Anybody that wants to install it or needs it will, will or wants it will have installed it. If you are doubting that, you know, you don't know if you should or not, it kind of tells me you should stay in Windows 10, and that's it. And remember that you have 10 days to come back if you do upgrade. And after that, you will need to know how to reinstall Windows 10 from scratch if you want to go back. So these are the things you need to know. As for stability, I personally have no problems with it. Personally, nothing is wrong. The problems, I think some people that are reporting, you know, like bugs, don't realize that the bugs they're reporting are not bugs. It's just that the functionalities are not there. Um, I saw somebody post on uh, a, um, a website. Um, well, you know, there's a bug about the drag and drop. It's not a bug. It's just not implemented. Um, so there's a difference between, you know, a bug, which is really something that is wrong and doesn't work as it should, and something that's just not implemented. They kind of have a lot of things like that that are weird in Windows 11 that, you know, it's like the same thing with the right click on the taskbar. Um, a lot of people are like, well, you know, there's a bug. I don't see the task manager in the menus. It's not a bug, once again. It's the way that they actually implemented all of this. But this could change over time. You simply right-click on the Start menu uh, button. Uh, the other questions about gamers. A lot of gamers are saying, well, you know, is it fast? Is it good at gaming? Personally, I don't see any problems at gaming. I've actually installed the latest, um, I got the Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, uh, Halo Infinite. Works great, smooth, uh, even on my big screen TV with uh, the NVIDIA graphics adapter in this machine. So there's no problem there, um, for sure. If you have issues, I think what you need to do is really look at 
what you have installed on your PC. Uh, once again, the majority of problems on PCs, as I, I did my tech guide duties over time, shown me that Windows was rarely the cause of a problem. It was everything else. You know, when I say don't install tons of crapware that is useless, like CCleaner, uh, don't. They are the cause of a lot of problems. They are totally useless. They are not going to make your PC faster. You don't need to do any cleanup of any kind in Windows. That is something that it's an industry that decided that that is what you need because they sell software. You don't. And don't be fooled by installing anything. You risk way more problems by doing that than just leaving Windows alone with the minimum of the software you just need to work and to do what you want. Uh, update your drivers. The drivers are a major cause of problems in machines. And since Windows 11 is, of course, a different system, even though there's a base of Windows 10, it still requires its own drivers to really be at its peak and work well. So just make sure that that is something you understand, that you have uh, all of that um, you know, up to date if you have problems. If you have no problems in Windows 11, leave it alone and just do what you want to do and you know, install the updates when they arrive and that's it. So these were the questions um, and these are my answers. Uh, the last question here of some is I updated to Windows 11 and it doesn't want to activate. Uh, normally, if you update from Windows 10, you should be activated. It should be automatic with the digital license that they have. If that activation doesn't work, make sure you have the correct version. Um, Windows is um, available in different versions. And one of the things is that sometimes someone will want to move from one version to the other. It doesn't work like that. So, for example, mine here is Windows 11 Pro. You can see it in a Windver command. Um, if you were on Windows 10 and you are the home version, you need to be on the home version on Windows 11. You're on Pro version in Windows 10, you need the Pro version of Windows 11. In the upgrade process, it should be automatic. But if you did a manual install, if you haven't chosen the correct version, you're not activating. You'll have to reinstall it from scratch and choose the correct version for this to work. It's very important to do so. And uh, yes, a lot of people still on the impression that, you know, we're going to pay for this at some point. No, we're not. Windows 11 is a free upgrade to any Windows 10 users. And that is all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.